Jamar Rashawn, everybody. Welcome to another episode of TTG for Real Film Room. I'm a former Division One defensive back that likes to break down film. Today's featured athlete is safety William Willie Parks. This guy plays 60% of his snaps in the dime linebacker position. He finished the season with 51 tackles, one INT, four pass deflections, and now he is soon to be competing for valuable playing time with Broncos' newly acquired. Linebacker slash safety, Sue Cravens. But let's check the film out. Trips open in the slot or the dime linebacker. Man to man versus Cooper. Cooper does a five yard out or 10 yard out. Parks does a good job of just staying patient and keeping inside leverage to undercut the out route. 50 shade, 11 personnel, halfback dive through the A gap. Parks does a good job of just staying patient and just making a solid tackle. 10 shade, 11 personnel, halfback draw. Parks hesitated a little bit because he was about to get back in his drop, but once he realized that it was a draw, he reacted, does a good job of meeting force with force with the crack block and making a tackle. 20 shade, delayed C-gap blitz. He does a good job with his initial pass rush to get the lineman to check down, and now he just goes around him to get the quarterback pressure. Sixty shade, eleven personnel, disguised, unbalanced formation. The C gap is going to come open, so he has to feel it, and he has to be mindful of the backside pulling guard. He does a good job of wrong arming that to just cause a disruption to make the runner come down. Same alignment and formation. The only difference is it's his own right. Instead of attacking the C gap, he's going to dip underneath the A gap and make the play in the backfield. Sixty shade, twelve personnel, zone right. Literally, he goes unblocked. He's head up on Selick. Look at this. He's going to go through the hole and make the shoestring tackle. Outside man-to-man -man alignment on the tight end, Allen is 23 personnel, two backs, three tight ends. He does get caught looking in the backfield with the heavy run flow, but he gets in at the last minute to get the PBU. Seventy shade outside alignment on the tight end. It looked like it's twenty three personnel, but it's not. That's just an extra office alignment. It's a traditional weak eye formation look. Now he just pretty much is just filling the gaps and just plugging the chugging. Sixty shade head up on Cooks. 11 personnel zone left he becomes the cutback player so now he's just going to read it slow play it. now he sees it now he's just reacting and making a fundamentally sound tackle on washington 60 shade head up on fasano it is 11 personnel it's a counter the c gap comes open now he's just coming up and just being an athlete and making the play in the backfield 40 shade head up on the tackle it is a half back toss so with the tight split he has to do a good job of being patient and not getting cracked he does a good job of just tracking the inside hip and running the alley to make the tackle on the sidelines cover one press man to man um 10 personnel jenkins runs an arrow route two yard arrow route it was third down and distance why would you throw this i mean he's sitting all over there he really could have picked it and took it to the crib but hey the play was made Forty shade head up on the tackle. It is a tight stack eleven personnel split divide zone half back delay through the a gap. Parks does a good job of meeting force with force with the crack block, and now he does a good job of meeting Gore in the hole right there. Ten shade eleven personnel zone read is the play call. The c gap is going to come wide open. Instead of going with the flow, he is reading Gore's movement, and now he just does a good job of reacting to get Gore down on the ground. Eighty shade. 12 personnel he has outside contain paul is going to down block so now he has to fill the gap but the backside guard and tackle is pulling so he has to cut him and cut through to make that tackle that's what you love to see from your dbs to be physical 60 shade head up on the tight end the play call is his own read he has the quarterback if the quarterback keeps it marshall overran it um so now he just has to correct him to make the play Trey open two man under he has anything inside to help his inside or outside cornerback now he's just reading Kirk Cousins eyes with no threat and he comes up with the interception he thought about cribbing it but he did the right thing to take the knee and there you guys have it Willie William Parks
The guy can play. I've been watching him all the way since Arizona. He can ball, man, but with Sue Cravens coming in the mix, he is for sure going to have to compete for playing time now. Get at me on Twitter. Let's get that Twitter game popping. TTG Film Room. Get at me on Snapchat if you want to see my daily life. TTG For Real. If you want to see nice pictures and videos, get at me on IG. TTG For Real. And if you need work done, hit me up. TTG Productions at Yahoo.com. And if you like my dope-ass content, subscribe. It's free.